<laughs> oh man, this one right here is hilarious. Now, when I first saw this story, I bust out laughing and I was getting my laugh on. You know what I'm saying? Because we have a perfect example of a fake thug, a wankster, when trying to keep it gangster goes wrong, right? And it shows you everybody want to be tough. But when it's time to face what you got to face, that's when the fake thugs want to start breaking down. You know what I'm saying? I told y'all, they're going to start whining, they start crying, and they start telling. And by the look at this dude's face, we already know he's going to tell. And on top of that, no matter if he do tell, it's not going to get him out of his situation because he's been charged for getting rid of two people. And it's also a perfect example of anybody could pull a trigger. You heard that plenty of times. Any man could pull a trigger. Any child, anybody could pull a trigger. But we got to ask, when it's all said and done, is it really worth it? Because we see this dude right here. He's a bozo. He's not built like that. And he did a stupid crime. And he took two people's life over a small incident. And he wanted to be a top gangster. Which proves that it don't matter if you are so-called in a gang. You got tats all over your body. You got guns. That don't matter. That don't make you a G. And it's also a way where I've been telling people that the thug life is over. And not only are they going to be cracking, cracking down on all of the criminals, but a lot of fake thugs, a lot of fake gangsters, they're going to be telling on everybody. Because we clearly see by looking at this man's face, this young boy's face, that he is not built like that, and he's a wankster, and he's a sucker, and he's a coward. So let's get into the story. A man has been photographed weeping in his mugshot after being charged with two counts of first-degree murder. Anthony Rolden, age 18, faces two felony counts of first-degree murder after being charged on Thursday. He was arrested Wednesday in the 1100 block of West Washburn Avenue. He had been charged with fatally shooting a man and a woman in Humboldt Park last May, according to Fox 32 in Chicago. So as we can see, this clown, this bozo, he killed a woman and a man. Now, y'all know the people that rock with my channel, y'all know I've been speaking out about a lot of these crimes against women, and I told you how a lot of these dudes, they got issues. And in some mind, it's part of me, in some way in their mind, they think it's cool to kill females. And this is becoming a trend. And they got to stop. Because my point is, like I said, it's nobody to protect the woman and the kids. But in this situation, this dude killed a man and a woman. Now, my point is, what's gangster about that? Then on top of that, we see he's not built for the crime he just did. So we already know that this crime didn't make no sense. And I'm pretty sure he's sitting in that cell thinking about what's going to happen to him once he go up north or once he hit that big boy penitentiary. And a lot of those dudes are not going to be feeling the fact he killed the female. So we already know we got an idea what's going to happen to this boy. You know what I'm saying? Nine times out of ten, he's going to be washing somebody's boxes. You dig? They're going to be taking all his commissary and all his phone calls. And they're probably going to change his name to something else that's that's very, very feminine. You dig? So let this be a message to all you dudes that want to be thugging out here. When you know damn well you're not built like that and you're not built to do the time. Because all you got to do is look at this man's face and you'll see... He don't have no type of gangster written over his face. You see a coward, you see a lame, and you see a, maybe a boy that was playing too much Grand Theft Auto. 
So let this be an example for all of you who want to try to commit crimes. When it all comes down, you're not built like that. And even if you are, it's not worth a life because this man is about to go to jail for the rest of his life for killing two people in a simple incident that could have been avoided. And this also shows you that everybody from Chicago is not a gangster. So don't get it twisted. I'm out.